Hey everyone, Adam of Droid Media here, and today we're going to be making our very own DIY wooden hand grips for around 12 bucks per grip. Wooden hand grips or kino grips like these are becoming more and more popular. I've had my grips for a couple of years now, and I get compliments on them constantly when I'm out on shoots. But besides being a conversation starter, they're ergonomic, practical, durable, and can be used on a variety of of camera rigs. Now, most of the time these retail for around $100 or more, but today we're going to be making these uh, you know, ergonomical grips and some of these spherical grips and we're going to be making each of these for under 12 bucks per grip. Materials you're going to need. For the round grips, you're going to need a doll head. Yeah, you heard that right which is actually just a little wooden sphere. You could make your own wooden spheres, but I found these great two and a quarter inch wooden ball doll heads at my local Michael's Hobby Store that worked perfectly, and they were under $2 per head. For the contoured ergonomical hand grips, you'll want to grab some wood. This can be scrap stuff that you have laying around, or you can go buy some from your local hardware or home improvement store. Really, whatever you've got laying around will work. Ultimately though, you'll want a two inch by three inch by four inch piece of wood, which should cost you just a couple bucks at most. Then for the spherical grips, you'll need one of these threaded rosettes for around $4. And for the other grips, you're gonna want an unthreaded rosette for around $7. And then for each rosette, you'll want one of these small rig wing nuts with a rubber washer for around $4. Links for all of this stuff is gonna be in the description below. I'm going to start with the round spherical grips. Now these are the easier of the two grips that we're going to be making. Grab your little doll head or wooden sphere, and these should have a slight flat spot on one side, which is currently not big enough to fit our rosette. So place your rosette face down here and outline it so we know how much more of the sphere we need to shave off or cut down to make it fit. These marks will be a rough guide for us. You can sand these down or use a Forstner drill bit to enlarge that flat surface. Check this as you work on it to make sure you've got enough of a flat spot. Once that flat edge is large enough to hold our rosette, we want to cut a little square hole to fit this back piece. This should be a 5 8 inch square and approximately 1 8 inch deep. Get a ruler or a square out and mark a quarter inch on either side of the hole. Rotate 90 degrees and do the same thing. Then roughly mark a square in as a guide for where to cut. I would recommend you drill a small half inch or one inch hole in a scrap piece of wood so you have a little space for your grip to sit while you work on this. I'd also suggest clamps with soft grips and using a rag or something soft when you need to clamp this down. This will help keep us from scruffing or scratching the grip while we're working on it. Using a chisel and a hammer, make a few notches along the guidelines we just made. Another tip here, do this downwards so your grip isn't spinning around every time you hit it. Once you have a couple of notches created, use your chisel to cut out the rest. Be very careful here and consider wearing gloves and using a heavier blanket or towel as extra protection while you're doing this step. Check periodically to see where you still need to cut little pieces out so that the rosette sits flush against the grip. Once your rosette sits snugly and flat against the grip, then we're ready to move on to the next step. Before staining, I recommend running a high grit sandpaper all over the grip. This will allow the stain to set in a little better. Find a stain you like. I went with a darker espresso stain on my spherical grips. I also like the kind of stain that you put on, leave for a few minutes, and then wipe the excess off. You'll probably end up doing a few layers of stain to get a good color. After that, we want to put on a few layers of polyurethane to seal everything up and give us a nice outer layer of protection. Once your grip is stained and sealed, we're ready to attach the rosette. Use a little bit of super glue and place the rosette in its square hole. Remember, you'll want to use a threaded rosette on this one. Clamp this down and let it sit for a bit. Most super glues will dry pretty quickly. After that's dry, drill some tiny pilot holes through the outer four holes in your rosette and then use some tiny screws to give this whole thing a little bit more stability. You should now have your very own spherical grips. Now let's work on these traditional contoured hand grips. Grab your wood and sketch out a rough hand grip shape, basically a big fat upside down L on one of the pieces. Cut that out using a handsaw, a coping saw, or a bandsaw. 
Then trace that for as many pieces as you'll need to glue together. Once these are all cut out, use some wood glue and clamps to create larger pieces. We'll be shaping each of these into our hand grips. Mark spots where you'll wanna cut away, and if you'll be doing two grips, be sure to make opposite marks on them. I used a belt sander with a rough grit paper to shave away the parts I wanted, but you could also use a Dremel or a rotary tool with a sanding drum or any other woodworking bits to carve out a rough shape. Be sure to check in on the shape periodically. Since you'll be holding these, you don't want any hot spots. Mark places that you need to cut away and keep going until you're happy. Just be sure you have enough room for a one and a half inch hole for our rosette screw to fit in. Once your main shape is done, grab your Dremel and a rough grit sanding drum and sand out some notches for your fingers. If you need to, mark where each one will lay and then sand a notch there. After this is done, your grip should really be starting to take shape. Just repeat these steps for your other grip and be sure to make an opposite one, not an identical one. Now that you've got a shape you're happy with, it's time to drill some holes. Find the center of your grip and then with a one and a half inch Forstner bit, drill a hole into the outside of this grip. Be very careful here that we don't go all the way through. We'll want to keep around a half inch or so here, or the width of the entire rosette, so that we can attach everything to the back. I used a drill press, but you can do this with a simple electric or power drill as well. Now on the back side, we'll want to cut a square hole again for our rosette to sit. Mark out a 5 8 inch square hole like we did on the spherical grips, and then using your chisel like we did earlier, make some notches and then carefully cut out the rest of the hole. Be careful to not go too deep, and check your rosette regularly to see where you still need to chisel pieces away. The rosette should fit snug and flush against your grip. Repeat for your other side if needed. Grab your Dremel again and start sanding down the edges of everything with a higher grit sanding drum. We want to smooth everything out now that we're almost done. I used some 120 grit drums followed by 240 grit ones. Do this until your grip is nice and smooth to the touch. Then grab your stain and put a few coats on and follow that with a couple layers of polyurethane for a protective coat. Now grab your unthreaded rosette, use a little super glue and attach it to the backside of the hand grip. Clamp that down for a few minutes and let it dry. Drill a few small pilot holes and then use some more of those smaller screws to secure the rosette to the hand grip even more. Then get your small rig screw and feed it through the hole from the inside and then use the rubber ring to keep it from sliding back out. I had to use a small screwdriver to help me get this on. Now you should have another custom wooden hand grip for your rig. To attach these, the traditional contoured grip will attach to a rosette mount via the small rig wing nut that's inside the grip. For the round grips though, you're gonna wanna use an extension arm or something that you can attach from the outside of it into the grip. This is why we wanted the threaded rosette adapter on these ones. So using this, I've got an adapter here on my 15 millimeter rod clamp. We attach those and just like the contoured hand grip, this will attach really easily and quickly. So there you have it folks, DIY wooden hand grips for around $12 per grip. Add these to your favorite handheld rig, shoulder rig, or gimbal and get shooting. As some of you may know, we recently passed 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube. And as a thank you for that, and as a fun way to kick off the new year, we are giving away two sets of wooden hand grips that we made in this video. A set of the spherical ones, these ones right here, and we're also gonna be giving away a set of the traditional contoured ones that you can see right here as well. Now for details on that and a chance to win your very own set of hand grips, be sure to visit the contest link in the description below. Now, if you have any comments or questions about this build, please leave those in the comment section below. If you end up making a set of these, I would love to see them too. Please share those with us uh, via email or on social media and tag Droid Media on those. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and we will see you next time.